Okay, so we need to talk about the medical side and the health side, the risks of, of smoking salvia. Uh, and I'll tell you up front, A, very little research has been done. And so we don't completely know if there are negative sides or what those negative sides are. But at the same time, we also know that there's basically no data uh, that says that it has any negative sides. Uh, has anybody ever OD'd on salvia? There's not a single case of anybody ever OD'ing on salvia, at least to my experience, and I've done my research. Um, there have been cases, I mean like literally one or two, that when I looked of people having a heart attack, and it's a very dramatic experience, and it's doing weird stuff to your brain, so if something like a heart condition is a thing for you, then maybe you should think twice about using salvia. It's a dramatic experience. But it's not like it's doing something massive to your heart rate or your blood pressure or something like that. It's, you know, more like watching a scary movie. Uh, uh, there's also the potential of like running your car off a cliff or something like that. Kind of like you always hear about with LSD. Well, yeah, you, when you're at the peak of salvia, you are very high and you need to be cognizant of that and you need to be careful about what you do with your physical body. Uh, but thankfully, unlike acid, unlike alcohol, unlike weed, if you've got a problem and you need to go home or you need to get in your car or something like that, well, guess what? All you have to do is wait five minutes and then you'll be sober. So from that sense, it's got to be pretty much the safest drug that there, that there possibly is. Now, what's interesting is that psychedelics work on serotonin. Uh, that's why they're not addictive. Addictive drugs work with dopamine uh, because dopamine, your dopamine system in your brain, among other things, its main thing is your motivation and your desire. And so, and so messing around with your dopamine system is naturally, it's just a doorway into serious addiction. And that's why uh, dopamine-based drugs could be so addictive, but serotonin-based drugs are not. Now, what's interesting is that... Uh, Salvia works with the K-opioid receptor, not uh, serotonin, which makes it very, very weird. It's the only drug that I know of that works with this, but it's specifically the K-opioid receptor. There's more than one opioid receptor, and the K-opioid receptor, we don't completely know what it's about, and me, not being a doctor, only knows what, I, you know, what I've read in two or three articles. But it's actually associated with regulating your dopamine level so that your desires don't get out of control. There's also some, well, a little research and a lot of medical hope that because of this, salvia uh, has potential to help people with their addictions. And if you look in the community and look at stories, you will find people who say that salvia has helped them with their addictions. I'm not saying that you should do that, like go smoke because you think it'll help you with alcohol, but I mean, it might. Um, the, the real problem though, is more with like psychosis. Salvia can be, um, harmful for people that, uh, have emotional or psychological kinds of problems like other psychedelics. And I have, I don't have any raw numbers about it, but I have met people on social media. Usually it's people who didn't know what they were doing, already have problems and, did it irresponsibly. Or, huh, unfortunately, you hear about people that they thought they were smoking pot, but some asshole gave them salvia instead. Uh, and then it ends up negatively affecting them, maybe long term. Um, either on some brain chemistry level or more like a um, emotional or even cognitive level. Uh, people have this philosophic insight, and that if that philosophic insight happens to be negative or uncomfortable, well, then you're going to say, wow, Selvia really fucked me up and made me not believe in God anymore, or made me believe in God, but I didn't want to, or, or you know, my life has so no meaning now. Like, those kinds of existential crises happen a lot on Selvia because that's, you know, looking at those kinds of issues is what it's about. But, um... It can be a difficult road, especially if you were doing it wrong or if some dick put it in your pipe and it's not even your fault. So uh, for my next video, we're going to get to the good stuff now that we had to deal with the bad. The good thing is 
what should I do on salvia and how do I make this stuff kick ass? That's the next video.